Hey guys, what's up? So, just got a new phone. Uh, at least I've had it for a few days. It's a Motorola G7 Supra from Cricut. Got the hard case. And actually, it's uh, I've actually had Cricut for a couple of years. And I'm actually really happy with them. I'm not paid by Cricut, but um, I got sick of being in that Verizon free upgrade scam for like at least 10 years. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, I, I, I was paying double the price with Verizon, at least. So I paid 30 bucks a month for the entry package, and uh, it actually works great. I mean, it actually runs, you know, Cricket's actually owned by AT&T, so everything runs on AT&T's network, and AT&T is the largest internet backbone provider in America, so uh, they definitely have the most cross-country cabling. So, uh, yeah, as I say, Verizon was... Ah, man, I don't know, man. It was horrible. For 10 years, I was sucked into this early upgrade scam. So if you stay with the Verizon, you know, they give you a couple hundred dollars off a phone or whatever. An expensive, unnecessary, like... I always was putting that Galaxy Note uh, Note series phones. Like a Note 3, Note 2, Note 5. I think Note, Note 4 or 5 was the last one I had. And, uh, but they were really expensive phones. And they didn't really... I mean, for most people, you're not, not going to use those features. Like, I never did. Um, and I was actually just looking at the most recent specs of both phones. And they both actually have octa-core processors. So, this Super 7 has an octa-core processor. Uh, the Note 10 has an octa-core processor. It's a little bit faster and better, but... I mean, most... You know, 99% of the people aren't going to use that stuff. They're not going to notice any difference. I mean, I never did. And I'm an IT guy, too. So, um, yeah, one of the big differences, though, they, they have 8 gig of RAM, this one has 2 gig of RAM, but, um, so far it's a pretty cool, I mean, it's an awesome phone. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I put my apps on there, but I'm actually running the uh, Outlook on there, the, where is it, the uh, Microsoft Outlook on there. That's, I have an Exchange server that I connect to, but, um, I think this was $140 out the door. Oop, it's my wife. All right, like I was saying, this is, I think it was about $140 out the door. Um, I have my basic apps on there, Uber, Torque, I use it to communicate in my car, Microsoft Outlook, like my phone system, 3CX, but, I mean, really, I mean, this is such an awesome phone for the price. I mean, I'll never, ever pay, pay 6 or $7 for a phone again, those expensive Samsung phones. I mean, they, Cricket even sells, like, the Samsung phones that are comparable with it, and it feels exactly the same as, like, the Note 10, or even the, the Galaxy S7, or whatever they are, now the S, whatever. Um... This thing actually has a 12 megapixel front camera, like 2 megapixel on the back. Um, you know, obviously SD card, and uh, has 32 gig of internal storage. But I don't know. Just my thoughts here. So I got to put my hard case on this thing. Yeah, never again. What's funny? You end up paying for it, you know, like with the extra. Uh, my wife. But with the extra amount of money you're paying, like I, I pay 30 dollars a month now, and with Verizon, I never paid any um, any less than like seventy-five dollars a month, and I got really frustrated with uh, Verizon. You remember actually when they actually had unlimited? Well, I was on one of their first unlimited plans where it actually truly was unlimited, but then they came out with this scammy unlimited that wasn't actually unlimited. So it was like totally deceptive. I mean. They called their plan unlimited, but you didn't actually have unlimited. And another thing too is like when I when I scaled down, like when I actually went over the unlimited plan, they started billing me ten dollars a month past the unlimited. So if you have an unlimited plan, then why the hell are you still billing me ten dollars a month? So, um, yeah. And then with variety, well, at least with with the uh, cricket man, if you go over your data plan. Uh, I mean, it's thirty dollars a month, but if you, they don't bill you, they don't start keep on tack, tacking on money. You know, they just basically slow your, your your internet speed down. I mean, it's pretty slow. I mean, it barely moves, but still, they're not dinging you ten dollars every time you go over like one gig or whatever. So, all right, just my thoughts. So, I don't think I'll ever own an expensive phone or Verizon or Sprint or AT and T again. You know, the full count. So, all right, guys, cool.